Yo, yo, yo! I'm standing here on my home trails, around my house, on the border with Germany and the Netherlands. It's called the Reichswald. It has many, many, many kilometers of gravel. And this is where I prepared for a nice summer of gravel racing. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, all gravel events are postponed for now. But I did got a special and really fast gravel hike, which I'm going to introduce to you guys now. It's standing behind, behind me over there. Well, maybe I'll, if I zoom in, it will be... Oh. Somewhere there. There it is. And I'm gonna show you guys what it is now. I, uh, it changed a little bit from the racing setup to the adventure setup. And I'm gonna put my glasses on because the sun is shining in my eyes. And I'm gonna explain to you guys all the ins and outs of this bike as we're getting closer and closer to it. There we go. So I'm running the brand new Hook XCC uh, gravel bike frame. It's uh, size medium, it's fully carbon, has the carbon frame, carbon fork, has the ball down screws all over the frame, so you can also put carriers on there. So it's actually a really fast racing bike, but it's also a really good trekking, touring, gravel, fugation bike. So that's the frame, the Bontrag one. So if we look at the wheels, I'm riding the Hunt gravel wheels. It's uh, the 30 millimeter ones, fully carbon, uh, 30 millimeters high, they're 27 millimeters wide external and 20 millimeters wide internal and of course in a tubeless setup. I'm running the gravel grinders. At the moment I have the 42 millimeter version mounted on it. These are tubeless and yeah they're pretty fast. They like the file thread in the middle, a little bit of uh, profile on the sides, especially if you want to go fast in the corners. These are really the tires you need. They're pretty flexible so it gives a lot of grip and gives a lot of feeling also with the gravel. One of the parts that really stands out on this black and gray bike is the gold chain. I'm using the KMC chain on all my bikes but I think it's really awesome on this gravel bike. And if we look at the saddle it's probably not even that interesting or a surprise for people who've seen more of my bikes because all my bikes have the exact same saddle and I'm riding the Sella SMP blaster saddle on my cross bikes, road bike, mountain bikes and also on this brand new gravel bike. And for the cockpit and the seat post, of course I'm running Ritchie parts. On this gravel bike I'm riding the Butano handlebars. It's a new one for the gravel bikes from Ritchie and it goes a little bit, launches a little bit to the outside, gives a lot more comfort. I'm currently just riding a normal stem, but as soon as like, we get dialed in the complete position, I'm switching the normal stem to the Aero Chicane stem because they're cool and they're fast. And of course this bike is a little bit different from my normal racing bikes and that's really cool because Lisine and Restrap hit me up with some of the coolest products for adventuring riding because if you do a 335 km dirty cans I buy a gravel race you need to train a lot and you need to train really long. So first of all I'm riding a bell as you might hear over here. That's especially important here if you train around where I live. It can be busy in the forest, on the bike paths. During the races I use the Lisein Mega XL GPS unit. It's really big. I use this with the front mount. As you can see... I normally have only five windows on it to see how fast I go, to see my watts, to see my heart rate, to see the riding time and to see how far we've ridden. And of course there is no following cars or people to help you so Lisein also sent me over some products so I can be my own mechanic, repair my bike during the race and that's really cool because that's hidden down there and I got to strap on a little saddlebag just enough to hold two latex inner tubes and I got an awesome little setup below my bottle cages with the CO2 cartridges with a little micro pump with a little multi-tool, some little tire levers and that's basically all you need to carry on and I prefer to keep it low on the bike so you keep also the weight more centered low on the frame which is pretty good and for me it gives a better feeling and more stability while riding especially while riding downhill. So before I introduce the last part on my bike I want to make a huge shout out to Jackie and Tracy. They made the bags that Restrap sent me over to put on my bike. I have the canister bag in front now. There's just a little bag to put some stuff in while I'm wandering around here and normally during the long events I would be using this carry-all top tube bag. The Hook XCC frame has two bolts on the top tube so you can screw in this bag because the bag is able to secure tight on the top tube and this way I can put some extra bars gel on the top tube instead of putting them in my back pocket so I don't necessarily need to stop when I do a 240k event but as I said now no racing so I got a really nice luxurious front bag to 
carry everything I want. It's called the caliper bag and this is the carry-all bag. And to make a little wrap up of the parts I use on the drivetrain side of the bike, I use the SRAM4 CX-1 shifters with a SRAM mountain bike derailleur. At the moment it's the GX version 1. In the cranks I have a Ultigra crank and I run that with a single, uh, single chain ring in front, narrow wide. I have a 46 chain ring. And in the back I have an XTR mountain bike cassette and that one is 1142. So that gives me enough space to race, to ride, to fast, to go literally up every mountain, go fast down every mountain. And that's the drivetrain setup I use. And at the moment I have road pedals on my gravel bike because most of the races are long, straight, on gravel. And for me it's a, it's a better feeling to ride with road pedals. For anybody else it can be different. I cannot recommend it to all of you guys because if the race gets a little bit more technical, go down or it's a little bit more corners, it can be hard to do that with the road pedals if you're not used to it. So in that case, just stick to the mountain bike pedals. I would do that also if it's muddy or if I know like there has to be some running in this race, then I'll just whoop, swap out the road pedals to the cross pedals and then just use off-road shoes.